insofern beeinflusst, als dass ich nicht nur in meinem persönlichen Kontext, sondern auch im Rahmen meines Studiums der Theologie die hier gewonnenen Einsichten über Religion und über die Bibel von verschiedenen Perspektiven quasi als interkulturelle Kompetenz in verschiedenen Rahmenbedingungen, in verschiedenen Situationen sinnbringend anwenden konnte. I have been attending Bible Week ever since I was a baby and I'm fairly certain I wouldn't exist if it weren't for Bible Week, so I'm very grateful. Um, to me, Bible Week has always been just an inseparable part of my childhood and my life as I was growing up. Um, I was always so looking forward to going and I have so many wonderful memories of running around the woods and the brook and beautiful gardens around Bendorf and Haus Orbeck and I was always so excited on Friday evenings because I knew I would get to hear the voice of the boss and um, I was so excited about that when I got older and of course I remember the very hot summer um, where the other children and I got to participate in the infamous water pistol fight um, with Sister Gonzalez and it was mind-blowing to me at the time. It still is. <laughs> um, I think the main thing that I love about Bible Week is that everyone is always so lovely and so kind to one another and even to me who I was always just a really awkward kid running around, everyone was so kind and I remember always, no matter what age I was, I remember always feeling like I was surrounded by family and I think that's what makes Bible Week special and yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I'm so sad I can't be there with you, but hopefully see you soon. <laughs> I have been coming since 1979, so that's a long time ago, uh, and it was still in Bendorf. Uh, it started off for me with a reconciliation as a Jewish girl with being in Germany. It also helped me a lot in finding my own Jewish identity, because talking to Christians and Jews uh, it, 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 it helps you to establish your own, your own roots and your own, therefore with your own identity. Um, and that is then helpful in your personal growth. And it was also a look into English and German Jewry. Being Dutch, a Dutch Jew, you tend to be a little bit insular. Um, I then kept on going because I just find it so enriching. Um, later, uh, the topic of, of, of structure of texts became very important to me to help me find the meaning of the text. So that is a, a, a theme which I explore during the Bible week with the help of other people who are also coming here to do the same thing. Hello my friends of the Bible Week, I am uh, grateful to you for the opportunity I had a few years ago to study during the Bible Week. It was the first time in my life that I spent a week in a monastery near new friends and the sacred text. The possibility of sharing studies, moments of spirituality, prayers and meals. All in an environment of unique respect. Ja, für mich war die Bibelwoche zunächst in Bindorf, dann im Haus Urbeck eine ganz starke Bereicherung meines Lebens. Sie hat meinen Blick geweitet. Ich wusste zwar natürlich um die Problematik der, des christlichen Verhaltens gegenüber dem Judentum und speziell die Shoah war natürlich eine 
soll die Katastrophe, dass man sich davon ja kaum erholen kann, in Gedanken. Äh, also mit dem Thema habe ich mich schon beschäftigt, aber doch nicht so persönlich. Ähm, es war dann wirklich eine persönliche Begegnung mit Juden, die ich vorher nicht hatte, und eben auch mit dem Judentum, mit dem ich mich auch nicht als lebendige, wirklich aktuelle Religion äh, befasst hatte, sondern das war etwas, das nun neu dazu kam. Äh, für mich als Katholikin und Deutsche lag also Judentum weit weg und jetzt kam das plötzlich so ganz nah in mein Leben. Und äh, ja, ich war in meinem Leben wohl noch nie einem Juden lebendig, einem lebenden Juden begegnet und äh, war ganz erstaunt, dass es so fröhliche ähm, Juden gibt, so aufgeschlossene, die äh, wirklich in Bendorf und dann in Urbeck äh, keine Berührungsängste hatten, äh, was nicht, eigentlich ja normal ist, aber angesichts der Geschichte eben doch ein Geschenk und nicht selbstverständlich. Mhm. The first time I came to the Bible Week was in 2002. I just changed job, and for the previous two years, I've been at the JCM conference um, taking place at Bendorf. In, in other other things, I think it has um, certainly enhanced my knowledge of Christianity, enhanced my interest in some ways. Um, I think also it has um, changed my, uh, my my view of, of Germany. I've, come to Germany. For, for, you know, I, I came to JCM for the first time in the year 2000 uh, and I've effectively been to Germany every year since then. I came from a, 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 a family where I heard a lot of German and therefore found speaking German not particularly difficult. But actually coming to Germany regularly uh, it is something which I haven't done beforehand. Als man ankam in Bendorf, wie war das? Ja, das war wie ein nach Hause kommen. Man war glücklich und man schaute schon nach drüben, ob einige wieder vor dem, äh, mit einer Tasse Kaffee draußen saßen. Und wenn man selbst dann schon eine Weile da war, dann wartete man auf die Nächsten, die kamen und ach ja, Schwester Sigmaris und ach ja, Badja und, und man war immer glücklich, wenn man wieder jemanden getroffen hatte, den man von den Wochen, Bibelwochen vorher schon kannte. Für mich waren besonders damals die äh, Bibelwochen mit den Propheten ähm, ganz, ganz wichtig. Man bekam einen völlig anderen Zugang, als man ihn selbst beim eigenen nur Lesen gehabt hat. Und das das ging auch bis hinein eben in die, die witzigen Darbietungen zu dem jeweiligen Propheten, die wir dann in, den, in der Schlussrunde hatten. Zum Beispiel mit Jonathan mit dem Schofa kam und dann plötzlich ein Bock erschien 
und sagte, that's my horn. <lacht> oh no no, that's my chauffeur. Oh no no, that's my horn. Ja, so ein anderer Blick auf die Propheten. Und oft auch mal kontrovers dann in einer, in einer der Gruppen. Das gehörte auch dazu, dass man nicht immer einer Meinung war. Und es gab dann wirklich manchmal ein Streitgespräch. And the young generation adds a completely different um, aspect to it. Uh, themes shift from um, focus on the Holocaust more that was in earlier years to much more focus on the text. And uh, it's just wonderful to see how in one week people get to know each other and start trusting each other. People get really close. I've found a lot of very close friends in this week. I try to come whenever I can, even if it's not convenient or difficult, because I live in Israel and it's really an amazing week. It's like an oasis in a desert. It's something that I look forward to each year at the end of my working year. It comes after a hard year and I come and I meet old friends, I meet new friends and it's a place of spiritual refreshment, of intellectual stimulation, a place where I can really bring myself fully into the present in a series of meetings and conversations and they can be serious or they can be laughter but it's a place for really uh, feeling fully alive. It's actually quite hard for me to describe what the impact of the Bible weeks over many years has been on me, but I suppose that the essence of the experience has been that it's deepened my understanding of the way in which religious traditions and religious cultures are plural and not singular, so that my Jewish tradition, I see it in a wider context. So I come and I meet people who take religion seriously and that's one of the things which has had an impact on me is recognizing the importance of Christianity, of both the Catholic and Protestant traditions um, and the, the power of each of those traditions to affect people's lives. That's been significant in seeing how my Jewish identity is actually part of a, a broader pattern of religious yearning which is not only a Jewish preoccupation but is a much wider preoccupation. So I've learned about people's religious journeys, it's had a way of uh, making me think about my own. first came to Bible Week, I think in 1990, the first thing that struck me about Bible Week was the wonderful opportunity to study the scriptures outside of my own tradition. In the Christian tradition, the Bible is often studied in a sort of scientific way, in a matter of fact, historical setting way. But with the Jewish rabbis and others, it was studied in an excitingly different way. And I found that bringing together these two different disciplines of study was for me very special. And I have to say, not only special, but, but miraculous. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where you can study the scriptures in this way, bringing and placing side by side these two very different traditions on the same text and bringing out nuances and meanings that were never there before. It is for me a truly remarkable experience. It brings me back year after year and even now with my health very poor we made a great effort to come to be here and to share 
not only with the text but with the people because there is another side of it is the two traditions but also the people it is wonderful to meet old friends again to share a joke laughter and uh, just be with each other I look forward to it immensely each time thank you die Bibelwoche bedeutet für mich, dass ich mir einen äh, längeren Traum selber erfüllt habe. Ich habe ja lange Zeit die deutschsprachige muslimische Gemeinde in Hamburg geleitet und äh, da konnte ich wohl jüdisch-christlich-muslimische Tagungen, die konnte ich mit meinem äh, Arbeitsplan vereinbaren, aber jetzt nicht ausgerechnet die jüdisch-christliche Bibelwoche. Und äh, nachdem ich diese Arbeit aufgegeben habe und jetzt mehr an der Uni tätig bin, da habe ich mir diesen Traum erfüllt, weil ich mag also äh, Textstudium, äh, auch äh, Textstudium jetzt äh, auf Hebräisch, Bibelstudium auf Hebräisch und äh, das, äh, ja, das, das gönne ich mir jetzt einfach mal. Die Bibelwoche ist jedes Jahr ein unendlich schönes Juwel, weil ich mich schon vorher darauf freue, mein Jahr so einrichte, dass ich dann auch wirklich kommen kann. Und in der Erinnerung an die letzten 20 Jahre, in denen ich also angefangen habe, zunächst in Bendorf, weiß ich, dass es immer ganz lange in mir nachwirkte, weil die Freude, so viele vertraute Gesichter wieder zu treffen, neue Menschen kennenzulernen, zu sehen, wie die Kinder, die hier in die Bibelwoche sozusagen hineingeboren werden, groß werden, selbstständig werden. Das ist so ein Stück Lebensfaden, den ich hier erfahre und der macht mich froh. Gleichzeitig ist natürlich die Beschäftigung mit der Bibel aus den beiden Quellen eine große Bereicherung, da ich in einem Hindu-Staat ja in ganz anderen Zusammenhängen lebe und sie beeinflusste und beeinflusst immer weiter, weil natürlich das dann mit den Texten mich weiter beschäftigen oder auf Texte stoßen, die wir irgendwann mal bearbeitet haben, ganz viele Erinnerungen wieder weckt und vor allen Dingen ist es dann für mich so hilfreich, es ist nicht sprödes Wort, sondern dass hier Gelebte sich kümmern um die Einzelnen dass wir versuchen, das, was wir aus der Bibel lesen, in die Alltäglichkeit des ganz Kleinen füreinander, das Geschirr zum Beispiel wegbringt, äh, leben. Well, I come from, on my father's side, a German tradition. My father was born in Berlin. I studied in Germany for three years. And what it allows me to do is to come over regularly to reconnect with this great tradition of German culture. As, uh, my grand, my great grandfather was the director of Weissensee, the largest Jewish cemetery in Europe. That's in Berlin. And so the impact that it has on me is it allows me to have a sense of continuity in the German Jewish culture. Hello. Was mir vor allem gefällt an den Bibelwoche ist die Austausch, die Herausforderung der Texte. Das, ja, Liebe auch für die Texte. Ich finde es, wie man auch Holländisch sagt, eine Merabois, die Fülle von Texten, woraus man schöpfen kann. Und auch die Art und Weise, wie es organisiert ist und das Ort hier es ist beinahe wie ein Himmel auf Erden. Join, uh, interest, and lots of joy. Yeah. And as a family, we really find ourselves and really like, like to come here every day, every year, and to join this. Uh, Bible. Bible Week is a is a community, and is a community in which. Uh, oh, oh wow. much better. Okay. Right so, what does Bible Week mean to me? 
Bible Week is a community. It's a community and also surprisingly kind of the most bizarre but relevant uh, annual vacation in which we can distract ourselves or extract ourselves from our routine. Even I would say Bible Week is almost a return to my time in the yeshiva. Why? Because, you know, I'm, as an academic in Jewish studies, I never stop studying uh, Judaism. But um, studying it within the academic context, not only that it has different uh, elements, different uh, orientations than studying it as a religious person, but also it's always been, I'm, I always work according to, an, to, I would say, to an academic agenda. And Bible Week is a week in which I can put aside whatever is relevant for my agenda. And for a week, I will study the text which we was chosen for this year. And amazingly, it is so um, similar to the yeshiva atmosphere where you study a text with no relation to any specific um, commitments that you have now, except for your commitment to the text and to the God which is behind the text. So, so that's Bible Week for me personally on the most basic level. It's kind of an opportunity to go back to my study in the yeshiva. Um, but clearly Bible Week is much more than that because uh, I wonder and I can't even understand and explain why it is within this context of interface dialogue that I am able to express myself, to, to contribute and to be contributed more than almost any other context of my, of my life. So it's a week of, of, of fueling myself, yes, filling up, let alone that the Bible week for us as a family is a family opportunity. I can't even explain this miracle that the whole family really likes the Bible week. So what I, what I take from the Bible week, uh, it's, it's energy. It, it's, it's an energizer for the rest of the year even. It gives um, it gives a lot of hope, um, but I still wonder about where where are we heading to? How we will be able to not only to celebrate what is common, but also to cope with what is different. What the Bible Week now is is leading me to is a search for a new model of interface, I wouldn't say dialogue, but almost, and not even encounter, but common effort, okay, a common effort in which different religions or different re people of different faith will search together for their common journeys for the good in their religions. And uh, that's gold, it's complicated, it's related also to the political sphere to the extent that um, to the extent that our religions can be taken into bad deeds and how can we help ourselves, ourselves, each in his or her religion, but also as a common effort to give the divine good expressions to our religions because I think we are we all we all have the same task of not letting dangerous voices to erupt out of our religions and to consider this as a common effort as something that we can do together in the future is 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 the thing that I now take from the Bible week how can we proceed towards that, which is beyond studying a common text, but also um, introducing a common path. But it's a very unique common path. It's a common path in which each of us has his own journey 
but we are investing in similar efforts, something like that. The Bible Week has been quite significant in my life. I first heard of it, I think in 1973, when I was a young student at Oxford, and friends were beginning to go. It must have attracted a lot of young people in the early years. But I had no interest at that time. And then in 1976, I went to study for two weeks in Jerusalem. It was my first visit to Israel. And Jonathan Maganet was with us for those two weeks, and he was really promoting the Bible Week. So I came to my first one in 1978. I may have come to one or two others about that time. I came back with my children in uh, 1993. So this is probably my fourth in 2017. So I haven't been to a lot, but it's been spread out over nearly 40 years. Something very important happened to me through my meeting with Father Gordian Marshall. So it launched my career in writing. It all came out of the Bible Week. And then, because of my time at the Bible Week and the JCM, the Jewish Christian Muslim Week, both of which took, took place at Hedwig Transvelt House of Endor, I decided to study to become a rabbi. So these interfaith encounters have been really important in my life. I mean, one of the interesting things is how little the Bible Week has changed over the years. And even though it's in a totally different part of Germany, even the food seems to be the same. But I think the quality has rather improved since those <laughs> early days. Uh, but the method of study, uh, the morning meditations, the morning study groups, the afternoon lectures, uh, the timings have changed a little bit, but really it's the same basic week. And then what I think has been most important in all uh, these weeks is actually experiencing each other's worship and prayers and holy days at the end of the week. So these are constant elements which have remained over the years. When I was just beginning my rabbinic studies, um, I was very influenced by Rabbi Lionel Blue. Uh, who helped me to cross a certain emotional barrier by coming to Germany. And in the course of that uh, uh, journey, I encountered uh, various German Protestant pastors, and then through a series of uh, co connections, arrived at uh, the Hedwig Dransfeld House in Wendorf, where there was an annual Catholic Bible conference. And um, the presence there of three young Jews, two of my colleagues, uh, was, an, was just totally changed the nature of that encounter. This is, remember, in the 60s, it was um, the, the, the Germans who were there still felt enormous uh, guilt and concerns about uh, the war and about uh, the treatment of Jews. And the fact that we were prepared to come meant that they came to us with questions which were really powerful and important and far more challenging than anything I got from the Jewish world in England. And so I found myself um, drawn into that conference as a place where religion actually mattered, the fact of my being Jewish actually mattered, and I came to learn that the questions they asked forced me back to learn more about my own Jewish tradition and to find the qualities of, that I found amongst the people who were there within Judaism as well. So um, it impacted on my life in that it gave a new dimension to my own subsequent religious development and then my work as a rabbi. And uh, having started at that situation, I somehow kept, kept coming to the Bible Week and then uh, became part of the regular sort of organization over the years. And now 49 years later, I missed three en route, but um, um, I've been to virtually every one. 
and have a kind of, um, it's a kind of special place in my life at this time of year. Um, it's a kind of uh, marking ground for my own development, my own story. And uh, because I'm a Bible scholar, it's a great challenge to me every year to learn new texts, to work with them and to, to teach them. And to gain from the learning of other people for my own sort of scholarship as well. So it's a, it's a kind of a turning point every year, the summer, um, in my life, and a, a reinforcement and a reassurance that I'm in the right business. So I think this is the 22nd Bible week that I've come to, and I've come every single year since uh, the middle or late 1990s. So now we're in the 21st century. I've had to be here. I've had to come to this foreign country, to Germany, uh, every year. I've had meetings to come to as well, many, because I've been on the team uh, that uh, organizes the Bible Week, the famous team, since uh, I think the turn of the century, since about 2001. So that was still in the days of Ben Dorf. So that's a big commitment of time and energy. And <laughs> And then there's this place, House Orbeck, since we hear the bells chiming there. House Orbeck has become terribly important to me. Uh, this, this place, I've seen it change and develop. Uh, strangely enough, it was through me, uh, and yeah, but it was through me that we came here. Uh, the old house, I knew it well, the other center, the Hedwig Dratzfeld House at uh, Bendorf, I knew. And I was at a number of Bible weeks there, and then it had to close. And uh, I was there that year, 2003, and I sent an email to a, a student here in Germany whom I got to know, a German theological student whom I had met in, in Israel when I was studying there in the 90s. And he circulated this email, and in the email I wrote, well, we have this wonderful Bible week I've been attending for years, and the place that we, we have the Bible Week, the venue, the Hedwig Transfeld House, is now closing. It is closed already. Have you any ideas about conference centers, residential, uh, educational centers, anything like that? And so he circulated that to other people he knew in Germany. And one of the people who saw the email was one Dr. Uten Zwingenberger, uh, working at a place called House Orbeck, in this unknown place, actually, Georgs Marienhütte. I think Georgs Marienhütte is the most unknown element in the whole story. Most people don't know what it is or where it is, and we all think we're in Osnabrück. <laughs> Ich kenne die Tagung seit 25 Jahren, war nicht jedes Jahr dabei, aber immer wenn ich da war, war es eine unglaubliche Bereicherung für mich. Sie bedeutet für mich die Begegnung mit ganz vielen Menschen aus, aus jüdischen Herkünften und aus christlichen Herkünften. Die Christen sind ja auch nicht einheitlich, ich bin ja selber Christ und katholisch, aber die Vielfalt, mit der, mit den, mit der ich hier begegne, ist also unglaublich. Ja, was hat sie für Auswirkungen auf mein Leben? Ähm, nun bin ich seit mehr als 30 Jahren im, im interreligiösen Dialog aktiv und ähm, die jüdisch-christliche Bibelwoche ist für mich eine intensive Zeit, wo ich selber auftanken kann und selber lernen kann, wie Dialog geht. Nämlich zunächst mal sich zusammenfinden und in Gelassenheit aufeinander zuzuhören, auch wenn es manchmal hektisch ist. Also ich habe gelernt äh, auf der Bibelwoche, und das hat große Auswirkungen gehabt, einfach auch Unterschiede auszuhalten und unterschiedliche Meinungen zu akzeptieren und stehen zu lassen und unterschiedliche Erfahrungen, unterschiedlichen Erfahrungen zuzuhören. Das ist, ist vielleicht die wichtigste Auswirkung. Die Bibelwoche bedeutet für mich äh, immer eine unglaublich dichte und intensive Zeit und ein Raum, ähm, wo ich mit ganz vielen Menschen und ganz vielen Gedanken einfach zusammenkomme und das macht es so spannend. Also das intensive Arbeiten, das Entdecken, wie Dinge zusammenhängen, wie Traditionen und Texte zusammenhängen und, äh, und einfach auch das Gespräch mit den Menschen und das Entdecken von, von Menschen und ganz viel Lachen dabei. Also es, dieses Entdecken ist sehr lustvoll.
Stopp. <lacht> also was für mein Verständnis vom interreligiösen Dialog das Wichtigste war, glaube ich, ist hier in dem Zusammenleben in einer ganzen Woche mit ganz unterschiedlichen Menschen eben zu entdecken, zu entdecken dass, dass es ein ganz breites Spektrum an Ausprägungen gibt, wie Menschen ihre christliche Tradition oder auch ihre jüdische Tradition leben. Das ist sehr bunt und vielfältig ist und sehr persönlich geprägt, aber auch von der jeweiligen Tradition geprägt, dass es nicht das Judentum und das Christentum gibt, sondern eben ganz bunte und unterschiedliche Traditionen und Menschen, die hier wie ein ganz buntes Puzzle zusammenkommen. I'm part of the Bible Week team and uh, so it's a wonderful experience collaborating with the rest of the team, Uta, Jonathan and all the rest of them, uh, to create this amazing conference. Um, I first came to Bible Week at Bendorf in the early 1990s uh, and then uh, came for many years to Bendorf and then started coming to Haas Orbeck in 2010 to give a lecture that year and uh, so it's once again become a, a big part of my life. It's a big commitment coming to all the team meetings but it's always so creative and interesting. Um, I love the learning that happens at the Bible Week. It's very, not very often you get a chance to sit and study for hours each day a particular biblical text and it's just pure pleasure for me. I think uh, it's made me much more aware of other perspectives of reading the Bible, uh, Christian perspectives in particular, uh, that I've encountered here at Bible Week, but also the chance to have a theological dialogue. For me, as a Jew engaged in interfaith dialogue, it's very important not just to share what Judaism has to say, but also to learn from others, to try and deepen understanding um, it's not always easy, it doesn't always happen automatically, but it's very powerful. I also love the music at Bible Week, I love to sing and it gives me a lot that I can come here and sing and lead services. It's changed my life, maybe not really changed it, I don't think, but certainly enhanced it and made it richer and uh, given that special dimension. I do a lot of interfaith work and it's mostly a couple of hours here, maybe a day there. The idea of spending a week together in an interfaith context is so powerful, much, much more powerful than any of the other kinds of encounter that one has. So I think uh, since I started doing it when I was uh, a new rabbi, quite young, going through lots of changes in my life, I think it's really been one of the formative experiences of my life. I and my late husband, Leon, who appears, I think, in the frame, um, probably had attended Bible Week uh, for at least eight or nine times, uh, both in Bendorf and latterly at House Orbeck. Um, uh, Leon um, uh, uh, did a very interesting keynote address on Jeremiah at Bendorf. He also did a lovely presentation on the writer who lived in this area, Remark, who wrote uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, and with Uta's um, lovely organization, we went to the um, Museum of Remark in uh, Osnabrück. Um, uh, uh, Leon uh, was always a Jewish resource person in the textual uh, uh, group. So for both of us, it has been a unique experience uh, we've met some of the most fascinating people ever and uh, and looked at texts in depth that you know have left us with enormous enlightenment over the years so we are both well the is not here regrettably anymore but i know that he loved coming and as do i and I have just been able in the last two years to return without him and um, 
but the welcome and the warmth and the understanding I've received has been without parallel. And I thank you for the privilege of being able to share some of these thoughts with you. I was there the first time somewhere around 1980. Uh, I was quite surprised to see how many different people are coming to and are interested in the Bible text, which is a wonderful uh, uh, enterprise. And um, to me it has become a kind of anchor point in the year because I, uh, most of the time am a, I'm this uh, expert person who won a resource person in the group. And so I feel obliged uh, not to say many stupid things. And, to, and so I prepare seriously. And that means that weeks before the Bible week begins, I'm already in my thoughts with the Bible week. That's point one. Point two is that I love to meet uh, again uh, main characters who come from uh, Leo Beck College, London, etc. And some, of course, from Germany and, and, and Holland. I love to, to see them again, and to have a serious uh, subject on the table and to talk about it. Die ganz lockere, entspannte Atmosphäre, dass man sich wirklich begegnen kann. Und das intensive Studium mit Bibel. Und das, mhm. das im Gesamt ist, ist mir sehr wichtig geworden. Ähm, ja. äh, jedes Jahr ein, ein neues Bibelbuch. Ja. Ähm, also ich bin Bibelwissenschaftler und äh, auf diese Weise äh, äh, auch mit Bibel umzugehen und besonders das zusammen studieren und lesen und der Austausch jüdisch-christlich äh, ist mir sehr wichtig geworden, weil äh, wie ich das spüre, es gibt auch einen, einen Fortschritt sozusagen, genau in diesem Aspekt von Dialog, dass äh, sozusagen das Jesus-Projekt nicht, nicht äh, eine, äh, ein Sonderprojekt ist, äh, aber ganz klar äh, gestaltet worden ist, oder was der jüdische Tradition und sozusagen ein jüdischer Projekt ist. Und dass es unsere Aufgabe ist, das mehr und mehr auch so verstehen zu können. Und den äh, äh, gemein, gemeinsamen Austausch das zu studieren, wie wir das, ja, wie wir das heute Morgen gemacht haben, gestern gemacht haben. Und dafür halte ich die Bibel Woche für sehr wichtig. Dankeschön. Um, and over the years, this is my, I think, 15th Bible Week. Um, over the years, it's, um, it's deepened my Catholic faith and at the same time opened it for all the things that we can learn from Judaism and from, of course, the Old Testament, the Jewish part of the Bible. I was encouraged to come by uh, two other women from Göttingen who had been longtime participants. So as soon as I was not uh, involved so much in work and family, I was happy to join. And um, yeah, over the years, it's it's something that I don't want to miss. Uh, I don't want to miss being with other people for whom our relationship to God is important. And it's a great privilege in our society today, as a believer, as a person of religious belief, to be with others who also take religious belief very seriously. Beschäftigung mit der Bibel ist mir immer lebensnotwendig und zum anderen Beschäftigung mit der Bibel mit jüdischen Menschen ist mir genauso lebensnotwendig. Oft, oft, oft da, aber das letzte Mal war 1994, aber seitdem habe ich 
so gut wie jedes Jahr die Referate übersetzt. Und von daher habe ich nicht den Eindruck, dass ich äh, völlig den Kontakt verloren habe. Also ich war zwar nicht hier und auch nicht die letzten Jahre in Bendorf, aber ich weiß, worum es geht. Ich habe den Eindruck, dass die Referate jetzt sehr viel anspruchsvoller sind als früher. Also ein höheres Niveau. Und das ist durchaus positiv.